hey, this is a behind the scenes whatever. We're gonna be making wild shapes and also magic items. So you want making magic items? Uh, remember the items I found next to the spear? No. Uh, see, okay, at least I'm not the only one. <laughs> Uh, we found an anklet and a bracelet. Oh, I, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... See, I, I, do I just don't remember saying that they were going to be magic items. I, I might have done that. Uh, when I saw gold, I thought that I meant for those to be sellable items. I, like, I'll accept uh, for the necklace to be sellable, but you did say the anklet was magic. Yes, okay. Which we, we did uh, discuss, and you agree with the 1d8 every after a short rest? Yeah, I agree with 1D4, that. 1d4, I mean. 1d4. Okay, so I will... I guess I can't. Uh, so we're going to do this uh, now so that we don't take half an hour of the normal session. Okay, so here's the thing with um, with this session. We're going to have some storyline, but I want this to also be about... The other guys, they don't have any equipment whatsoever. Right. So, and and I'll be honest, I rely heavily on the two of you uh, for your assistance in these games. So, what I was kind of thinking of doing is having a few things happen, but um, I wanted to spend some time this session on equipping people, going to the shops, that kind of stuff. Sounds great. Yeah. Okay, go. Uh, we could give them, like, some starting wealth by class. Okay. Is, it in, is in the PHP. I can look um, up. That is. How do I give wealth to someone? What is the currency? Um, I mean, like, the, I'm assuming we're just gonna stick with gold, because I don't really want to have to do math in Dungeons and Dragons. But, um, they... But it's, um, ten copper to a silver, and then it's ten silver to a gold piece, and then it's ten gold to a platinum. But there's, um, like, nothing that costs... Barely, but... Yeah, generally gold is like the standard. Um, and, um, we have the uh, the shop list in the um, in our uh, PDF chat. Uh, I do not have that there. I will oh. grab it from our chat real quick. There it is. Be careful not to click it, elsewise, I will lose all my pin taps. There we go. Uh, so that's the thing. I haven't, I didn't really look over it. I, I've just been kind of sending you stuff I see, but uh, if yeah, I, I looked over it a little bit, it's gonna be helpful. We'll go into and you guys will go into whichever uh kind of store that you want, and I will role play along with it and tell you what your options are and uh. We'll go from there and we'll play that. Alright, um... If you want... I I can add gold to myself just because it's directly underneath inventory, under treasure, and I added a section called gold. I don't know if there's an actual place where it is. Uh, Let me see. So you said you put it into your inventory? Yeah. Uh, oh, there is a place, like, specifically... Yeah, like the treasure tab in the inventory. Yeah, I figured that it would go in the treasure tab. That's where I put mine. All right, all right, good, good, good. Um, cause I gotta make a some modifications for Mister Sater. Let's see here. Inventory. Um, I was looking it up, uh, because I absolutely wanted a bird, uh. Too. Uh, so uh, I found out that most small birds fall under the uh, chicken pricing. Okay. Like hawks, I think have their own stuff, but if it's just like a pigeon or something, it'll be under whatever chickens are. Okay. Let's see here. Zoom in, please. How do I zoom in? There we go.
Oh, that reminds me, I have to uh, put my new mail-in picture in. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to edit it yet, but... I mean, I'm just using the headshot. Right. Because, as you can see from my current picture, the uh, full body one doesn't really work. What did I name it at? Corvid final. Spellcasting sheet, I don't think that's it. Well, it's not under M. What did you name the headshot? No idea. Try X for Exobug. I was just trying to be lazy, I guess I can just... Oh, I put it into a folder, that's why I couldn't find it. I sent you the starting wealth by class from the PHP, but I would kind of take that with a grain of salt because we're second level. That's and they were like captured for a while, so they don't have their starting equipment anyway. So I don't know. Also, um, uh, we're trying to mini remember to try to keep track of how much XP and then send yeah. me that after. Uh, each session so I can edit in the thing that I wanted to do. How do we know how much XP is until the next level up? Uh, it's I... in the beginning of the PHP and also if you just Google it, like 5e level progression. Okay. Alright, so let's oh, I like the new character, the new screenshot from Mayla. Did you guys make that? Uh, what? Oh yeah, I drew that. Dude, trash guns, you got some real skill. That's nice. Um, right, so there's that. Yeah, I threw it in the character art chat, but... So we make a new one. What's the name of the wild shape, or do we do we keep it as Anita? Um, you can probably change it to the name of the animal because that would make it easier to keep track of, I guess. Okay. Makes sense to me. Although maybe you would put like Anita in parentheses in case we're like fighting a bunch of the same thing. I don't know if it matters or not. Sometime. Okay. And what's the form going to be? So the one that I use probably most often is going to be the giant spider. Okay. That's just my favorite form. you know the stats that you will have as a giant spider. Yeah, hang on. Okay. There's a couple sites that have, like, nice looking stat blocks. Um, not that one.
Oh, whatever. Um, so yeah, I have like the monster manual like just right here in front of me. I can take a picture of the stat block and send it to you if you want. I don't really know what the easiest way to do that will be. I think go ahead and do it exactly like you just said. Take a screenshot of it and let me see. Alright. There's a picture in the images folder. It's just cleric stuff, and it's a cup and a couple bandages. Yes! Thank you for reminding me about that. And that's in the uh, player's handbook, right? Yeah, here we go. Equipment. Interesting. Oh my god, I just found the treasure trove. <laughs> okay, this is going to make it so much easier. That's sideways. Yeah, that is sideways. Hang on. Ew. I'm looking at the picture of the coins, and apparently gold comes in column shape. Column shape? Like, like imagine an hourglass, and that's the basic shape of it. Huh. And also, none of these are actual coins. They're all different shapes. Coins can be different shapes. This yeah, is but... fantasy. Okay, but With none of them are round. But, uh... How do I make it not be sideways? What not be sideways? I'm trying to send this picture to Minnie, but, uh... It does not want to not be sideways. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll tilt my head. Okay. Well, this is cool. They have pictures of, like, goblins hiding among giant dice. Oh, I guess these are in, like, the these are the pictures that would have been in the books that uh, you have installed. Yes. It's kind of neat. And that's why I want to get the, uh... The last one, the um, Dungeon Master's Core Guide. That's the last one I really need to make everything very streamlined. I but imagine that my, my power broke down just the other day, and it cost over five hundred dollars to get it fixed. So that yeah. that's not going to happen for just a little bit. I imagine that'll add a couple a couple maps, and that'll be real helpful. Probably. I do know that it will help with generating loot from the kills. Yeah, it does have loot tables and magic items and a bunch of like useful stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's super handy. Okay, so we've got the giant spider. Yep. Picture. See here, there's trash guts, there's a picture. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, strength 14. Dex 16. No, that's 14. 16. Oh, so the thing about Wild Shape is yeah. it only changes my um physical stats. The mental stats, the in Wiz and Charisma, stay the same as Anita's. They ah. don't change the giant spider stats. Okay. Wisdom and Sorry, Charisma stay. That. That's all good. Right, then that means Charisma's at 10. And Wisdom is at 15. And uh, your intelligence, does that also stay the same? Yeah, that's still eight. Okay. 
Alrighty. Um, I'm thinking we can create a weapon and call them your pincers. Let's take a look at this. Um, library. Um, the items. Equipment. Not equipment. Oh yeah, right here. Oh, items. New. Add. All right. Fighter. Light. The only problem I can see with the uh, the beastry right now is that it doesn't give you like an, an explanation of the creature. Uh -huh. Like I uh -huh. I can see all the stuff, but all right. Oh shit. Um, I was gonna say, uh, what? What kind of dice roll will we be doing for the spider bite? Um, for damage. Damage is a d8 plus okay. dex. Which is plus three. One d8. Plus what? Plus three, which is the dex. Dexterity. Oh, I guess we don't know how to make a saving throws for weapons yet. Yeah, I'm trying to, and it's still not working for me. That may be something that comes up. Well, no, it should be, should be available, but it should, that might be something that is uh, made for um, the Dungeon Master's core book. Does, um... Does, um, does uh, that... Wild Shape Spiders do the uh, constitution save? It does. Yeah, okay, so, it does do poison damage if they fail a save. Okay, so damage there um, if they fail a save. So one thing that you could do is just have a separate attack for the poison and have them like roll a d20 manually to see whether they pass or not. Okay. I don't know if that's Let me get spider easier, but... Give that to you. Um, I think that... Uh, Adam, you can just yeah. you can make your the characters like um, Minnie's doing, because mm -hmm. you I have ac you have access to the beastery. It's under library, and there it is. And then you can just add all the stats and stuff. And then when uh, when you need uh, weapons made for it, you can just ask Minnie to speed everything up a bit. Uh... Oh, I see. Yeah, cause, and also because we're starting in a couple minutes. Yeah. So I'm just going to add a spell to myself. Alright, so uh, the poison, what's the, di what's the dice roll for the poison? D8. Uh, the poison is 2d8. Two, eight. And if they make the save, they take half as much damage. And I don't know how to do that. Okay. So if they if the saving throw fails, mm -hmm. um, and now for it to fail, I just want to make sure this may seem stupid, but that means it has to get a. Uh, 50 or high, 50 percent of the dice roll or higher right to win to for it to set the save to work and then depending on the degree of how high the dice roll is in your favor that also influences the damage am i correct not quite i don't think um yeah so when you have to make a saving throw it's a saving throw that responds like that correlates with a certain stat in this case it's constitution so you just roll a d20 and you add your constitution modifier. And if that total is higher than 11, um, then you 
pass. 11 just happens to be the DC for the poison damage. It can be anything. But for this particular attack, if it's higher than 11, then they pass. And if it's lower than 11, then they fail. Okay. If I ever say that something passes when it should have failed, please feel free to correct me. Because okay. I'm, I'm doing my best to, to learn the math of this game. This is... This is challenging. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot to take in. Yeah. Alrighty, um, do you guys mind if I go smoke a cigarette real quick and then we can start our game? You can get everybody in here? Yeah, I was about to send sure. the at yo 